Welcome into our outdoor studio in Phoenix, Arizona for the second day Beautiful. of the annual owners meetings. Mike, the obvious elephant in the room, Lamar Jackson, Aaron Rodgers. But for me, the biggest takeaway from listening to all the scrums today was hearing the coaches say, hey, it's only March, be patient. There are a lot of turnover on all of these rosters. Yeah. And that's what we've been trying to tell Patriots fans the past couple of weeks. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's look, we're just through the early portion of free agency. Team building, as Bill Belichick said, extends all through the year. You never know. They're not closing the door on any of the options that they have. So I think you don't can't get too worked up at this point. And certainly the draft is just a month away. So important. I mean, that's going to be the place where the Patriots really start to get those talented pieces that they desperately need. Yeah, in free agency, the Patriots have made some big signees. Obviously, the Patriots fans wanted a big splash. They re-signed a lot of guys on defense, but Robert Kraft said this, and I want to keep talking about this. You get your greatest return in the draft, which is coming up in a couple of weeks. Yeah, and they've got a lot of draft capital. They've got a lot of room to play with. I mean, this is the highest draft pick the Patriots have had since 2008 when they took to Rob Mayo. Mm -hmm. So a lot of draft capital, and certainly we were at the Combine a month ago. Mm -hmm. A lot of talented guys. It's hard to know exactly how it's going to fall. I would say right now the positions that everybody I think is kind of looking at, tackle, cornerback. Who might fall from those groups? But at the same time, I think we get so focused on those two spots. What are the other positions? What are the needs that we're not weapons. quite? Everybody Edge. Everybody wants offensive <laughs> weapons. That, that'll, that'll please the masses, mm -hmm. but does it win football games? Exactly. I think there's a lot of talent, a lot of guys to comb over. So you don't know exactly what they're going to do. Right when you think you get a beat on what they are going to do, they zag the other way. So we'll see. But I think that's the most exciting part of the season, and that's what's coming up. Exactly. And there's still pro days that have, have, have to happen. I mean, obviously, I think LSU pro day is coming up. There's a lot of other SEC pro days coming up that I'm sure we'll see a lot of scouts at as well. And so even though we saw a lot of those guys at the Combine Shrine Bowl, there's still an opportunity to see a lot of guys there. Yeah, and I would say, too, like as things start to play out, you know, teams after the draft, there's going to be more moves made as teams fill needs. Hey, we can get rid of this guy, that kind of thing. So, again, it's a year round process with the team building. We've seen trades. Guys come in in the middle of the season and have an impact. So I think that's an important thing to take away. And that was the big theme I think we took from not only the AFC coaches yesterday, the mm -hmm. NFC coaches today was that this is a long process. Here we are in March, almost April. That's where we're at. But there's still a long way to go and many moves to be done. That's it for Mike Dussault and Tamara Brown from the NFL Owners Meetings in Phoenix, Arizona.